we may have lost our beloved big burly barbarian walter but hey who do we have now we got an assassin Gra our grandpas kind of know each other she's like this really cool big sister who is five years older than us she shows her armpits she's very talented we're parting up with her right now we're going to some other place to handle some business let's see how this relationship develops in today's episode oh i see we're literally gonna wake up to titties today <laughs> Yeah, sweet buns, huh? I see them sweet buns. He does not care about the titties. He does not get flustered. He says, he, "I hope you get die. I hope you die burning them." So do I, to be honest. Yo. Oh, we know this guy? Thanks for the bits, man. Guy's <laughs> so tiny, holy shit. Bro, he's like three foot nothing. That's right, we're here to do mercenary business for them. Because their local police is like gone and busy. I don't know why, there's like... He's still shocked. I, I don't know exactly what happened in the past, but like something... He probably saw like the dark side of us and he's like traumatized. A little sound effect from her is cute. Is that the wife? Daughter? That's the girl in the intro, doing that little flying thing. Handsome leader. <laughs> the dudes that we shit on in the intro arc. Now she likes Noel. No, they robbed the town, took our women. Yeah, she got the money. That's how desperate they are to, you know, solve this problem. He's not cruel enough to really just like make them, I don't know, push even more money. No, I want even more money now. Okay. Two people, 20 thieves, should be easy. Balding? Was he balding? No, his hairline's fine. Is, is he balding? No, was he really staring at the titties? I mean, who couldn't if you're fucking wearing shit like that? I'm sure it's your imagination. Was he really? I can't tell if that actually happened. I feel like he was too scared and he was too, like, locked in. The old man seemed pretty fine. Was he doing that? Yo. You know what? Nah, this is. I, I need to look back. Nah, I, I need to figure this out. Was he? Was she looking or not? Was he looking or not? Nah, I, 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 I don't think so. There's not a single scene. Maybe here? No, not here. Not here. Still just concentrating on Noel, Noel, Noel. But like, god damn, the cleavage is fucking crazy. He's still looking at Noel. Think about the money. He's very serious. Not a single point did it feel like he was like being lecherous to her. Is she just? Is that her quirk? Is that her like you know personality? She just you know assuming this shit. I feel like the dude didn't do that. Something like that, yeah. Thanks. Is that for us? Did, we, did I make that for you? She really loves Noel. Oh, it's special. I get it. You're very into Noel. Will you marry me one day? Uh, she's very cute. Now, I wonder if this is a flag being set. I don't really like this. He's a very cute kid. She loves Noelle a lot, but like, surely this is not a death flag. Wrapped around. BBB. BBB. Alright, here's the thieves. <laughs> I feel like this is a bit racist. I don't know. Every one of them just, you know, 
I feel like we're being a racially profiled here right now. <laughs> a lot more than 20. 40. The more I look at her, the more I realize that she she just needs to put on a fucking, like, the blindfolds on. And it's 2B. I don't know. <laughs> How could you tell? How could you tell that this guy is the boss? Because everyone else is wearing the same NPC shit that this guy has, the, you know, the face paint on. Do we know him? Oh, of course, it's Gordo. I don't... How could I have forgotten about Gordo? That's like four times our reward. Yeah, I'm gonna buff you up. Noel can kind of fend for himself. It's funny that he says less talking. Okay, they can communicate telepathically too. Link. Assassinate. Damn. I guess it doesn't work on Gordo because he's too strong. But that range of the AoE stun from that far away, I, I didn't realize. I thought we had to be really close. Okay. BBB. Whoa. Nice animation. Look at that. Look at this. This or Tower of God Thorn scene? What do you think? This or Tower of God, most recent one where Bomb activates his thorn like ability. I, the more I saw the Tower of God scene, the more I realized that the impact frames are giving me a bias to think that it's actually good, but it might not actually been good. I feel like this is better. That's it, bro. Donutted. Two mil. She's so good. Yo, she's gonna kill everything before we even get there. She's crazy. I didn't realize you could just use flame bullet to just burn people on the ground like this. Off screen. Easy. That's like 2.5 mil. He killed them all. That's the guy's head. No. Is he looking at her titties? <laughs> Why do I feel suspicious right now? The daughter was so nice. And she said, let's have a nice meal at the end. Him not trying to pay first and have the dinner first is giving me weird vibes. Something sus. Maybe she was right. <laughs> Her calling out him staring at the titties. Maybe there's more than meets the eyes, man. Okay. Maybe. She really likes the sides of Noel. He's actually giving like real advice to her too. Better start working, girl. Gophers. Bag carrier, the water boy. Nah. No. That look. No. That link. No. Something's off. What are they doing? What are they fucking doing, bro? They're about to poison us? They're about to set us up for something? Is the daughter in on it too right now? Does she even know? Or are they just taking advantage of the daughter's infatuation with Noel? Probably. Something's up. Something's up. Hmm. The moon being covered too now. Hmm. Maybe. It's such a wholesome moment being shared between the two. But the dad and the mom is like setting something up. 
No, this is the bait. No, don't drink it. No, 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 no. This is so obvious. This is beyond the... Even them, they're like... Bro, really? You're already so broke here. And then you save up this one specific theme, 100k fill just for this moment? I doubt it. Something else is going around. Yeah, special occasion, huh? You first. You drink it first. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, this is going to get so fucking passive aggressive, bro. Oh my god. You first. Taste tip. Come on. Come on. Uh -huh. Oh, we're very aware. Yo, Chelsea's dad's a fiend. Yeah, 100k for a bottle you don't drink? That makes no sense, Baldi. Ooh, calling that shit out. I love this. I love how, like, like, like you, you would think that maybe we could have just drank it. Some other fucking protagonist would be stupid enough to just drink it. Then we have to get over this shit. But he's like, nah, I know exactly what's going to happen. And I'm going to be so passive aggressive. And with your daughter right beside me when I was just talking to her, I'm going to force this on you. An apology won't cut it. What a fucking title. You poisoned this shit, right? Why would I do that? Also, getting this hostile is pretty telling. Because if he kills them, then they don't have to pay the 500k. Is it that easy? It's 200 up front, 300 after. If I just kill you after you take care of my problems, I don't have to pay you anymore. They're already seemingly so broke and struggling. I think that makes sense. That's the obvious answer. Looting. Come on, the mom literally just hiding the bottle like this is so obvious. Look at her, it's so shameful and guilty. The body language is perfect. Yeah. That's right. It was supposed to be 20, but 40. They even lied about the line. Bottom shelf wine. And they've been putting poison in there. Mm -hmm. They're amateurs. Now, what I want to know is, was he actually looking at our girl's BBB? The big booby bimbo? I don't know. I want to feel like he was now. Oh, sick. We got poison resistance? Drink it yourself. <laughs> Oh, confess, confess. <laughs> it's that easy. I remember something like this happening in the earlier arc too, right? The intro scene, I think we used confess on the guy or the girl to see like the Gamba's addiction stuff. Chelsea, you have shitty parents. I'm sorry. I feel, I feel bad for her, man. I just feel so bad for Chelsea. She was such a sweetheart. Maybe we should take her and leave. Ooh. We gouging his eyes out? We gouging his eyes with the thumb? Oh. Right in front of Chelsea. <laughs> Damn. He truly is a monster. In front of Chelsea, bro. The craziest thing is how he's able to do this shit. Even after having such like a heartwarming talk with Chelsea, fully aware that this is her dad. Our main character, he is like, <laughs> there's a time and place for everything. If there's a time to be sentimental towards Chelsea, sure. And if there's a time to just like execute demons, sure. We need more than that. No, no, no. Don't care. Serpentora. Chelsea, oh no! Gambino family. Is that the family that we worked with before? The uh, the Dio voice actor? I forget their family name. Well, we know them, right? Shh. 
surely we're going to use this money to pay for Chelsea's tuition fees, right? The whole like seeker tuition payment stuff, right? There's no way we make this girl bring all her fucking life savings to this house. And we take it and leave. I feel so bad, right? We gotta somehow turn this shitty situation into something positive by the end, right? <laughs> The Gambino's gonna kill you, but I think that we should offer for Chelsea some like protection. <laughs> Mom's complicit in this shit too. She ain't innocent. This is crazy, man. This show is crazy, man. Fuck. Okay. Damn you seekers. Bad ending. Wait! I can do some mental gymnastics. I can do some mental gymnastics. This is so that a nice girl like Chelsea wouldn't die early. If she joined the life of a seeker, it's dangerous. In fact, it's better if she hates seekers and lives a different set of life. That's my reasoning on why Noelle did this. I don't know. Oh, man. Now Gambino family come for her too, you know? Noelle, you're not going to help her out? Nah, we're just taking the money and leaving. I thought there was going to be something positive out of it. I thought that mom and dad's going to, you know, pay for the sins. And then the daughter would, like, leave or something. And, like, we could, like, pay for all her, like, all the tuition fees and all the housing and stuff like that. But, no, we just ended with Chelsea just saying, Oh, one of these days, I'm going to be a seeker like you two. I fucking hate you, seekers. <laughs> Yeah. Arma is very perceptive. BBB, them buns. Honestly, Noel kind of is a cactus if you think about how abrasive he can be. He is, Noelle is a bit of a cutie. Is that a spaceship? What the fuck? Goat dinner clan. Three star regalia. Okay, is this like a really strong clan? What's a regalia? By the Empire. Empire recognizes clans. They're official clans. Seven star system. Ranking system? The higher star? Stronger? Okay. Four three-star regalia, okay. And I'm gonna assume they're, you know, not as strong as the remaining three. Okay, four, two, one. That's crazy, you get a fucking airship? The, the Empire recognizes you, and if there's only seven of them, so if you wanna take one, I'm sure, like, I don't know if there's like an annual system of like, you know, like applicants that apply to see if they can, you know, be qualified for these regalias. I'm sure that these, these standings aren't in place forever, but like, Okay, these are the top boys. Cool world building. You're just good at everything. Best of the best. We should be a regalia. In one year. Okay. That's a crazy goal to have. Backstory. Okay. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What kind of question is this? Uh, no. That's our grandpa, right? And grandpa fought Noel's grandpa, lost an arm. He didn't die, though. What? Am I stupid right now? Or is this a fucking plot twist? What? What? She killed her grandpa? What the fuck? To prove her strength that she's better? And she took out the Shinigami. Okay.
That's a grandkid? What the fuck is she, bro? What, 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 what? Is she actually 21? Is she hiding her age? Not a grandkid? Secret wife? No, it's not the wife. What, what are you? What the fuck? You're, you're not even related at all? Oh. Oh, it's that. She's not 21. There's no way she's 21. Granddaughter makes sense. She hiding her age so fucking hard right now. Huh. What are they? Where is this coming from? What? Is she actually 21? He, 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 I, I guess grandpa, or well not even grandpa, father had her like, like basically when he was like 60. If, if we can assume that he died at 80, then he, he's, he roughly was like 60 when he uh, got a baby. Oh, okay. One child. Oh, he went around pillaging. <laughs> he went around knocking up random women to see which kid can surpass himself. That's the project here? Okay, yeah. He deserves this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't feel bad at all. And she's like the last survivor of the project. There's some white room shit. This, this, I actually don't know if the white room also sacrifices everyone like this, but like, this is the crazy shit! Like, every kid! You know, last one remaining in the, out of this thing. You, you, you're, you're the, like, the best assassin. You've surpassed me. I want Mr. Beast to do game shows like this. Fuck being all nice and PG-13. Last one to survive out of the battle royale gets a million dollars. <laughs> Could you imagine? The content? No, that can't be filmed. That's crazy. That's, that's literally... You, you, it's illegal. You can't do that shit. But like... <laughs> the, oh my. Could you fucking imagine the title, bro? The, the, the title YouTube thumbnail. Oh, just a girl with a knife just... <laughs> just go fucking crazy. Yeah, Squid Game IRL. You're too crazy. This is how she got kicked out. She was rejected, right? You're insane. Okay. A means to an end basically means that it's just a fucking job, right? Hold up. Killing was her end goal. So like basically they've reformed, they've sold out, they went big corpa. Before the assassin society was like, yes, we do it for the love of the kill, the thrill of the kill, that everything matters for like this goal. But now it's an end, it's a means to an end and quite often, you know, means to an end is tied to like, you know, jobs that you don't really care about, but it pays the bill. It's a government agency now. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to survive. They're trying to make some money, become official. Recognized by the government and shit. She is nutso. Twenty-one years. Battle Royale survive, survive. And at the very end, when you become like the pinnacle of assassins, you get kicked out because they've turned into goody two-shoes just trying to be official organization. This sucks for her. Her her life fucking sucks. The whole back. This is so messed up. That grandfather who's basically father. What a messed insane person. There was no reason pretty much. Literally no reason. Give me my time back. Her voice acting goes crazy. You gotta come up with your own meaning of life now. 21 years forced to live this one path and now you didn't there's no payoff at the end there is no meaning to the grind you gotta figure your own shit out and now she seeks the over death grandson right because maybe he could be the answer because he was so strong this is giving way more like context of like what she was doing how she just hanging out with noel she seems seemingly normal but then during the fight scene against those like bandits there was like a crazy maniac sense that i could feel from her that was basically all of this, kind of bottled up. <laughs> Over the sun, grandson. There it is. Her next goal. 
同等にだが彼のジョブは話術師だわわ最弱のジョブだな興味があれば訪ねてみるといい彼の名はノエルああずっとずっと一緒に戦ってあげるね This is actually such a good background story for her, man. Because up until now, she was just like a, she was a literally a big boob bimbo. No reason to stick around. Hee <laughs> hee, fan service girl, okay. But now it's just like, why was she acting like that, right? She has no fucking purpose. She has no meaning in life. She's super fucking depressed. She shows up. Noelle is now like the beacon of hope, some sort of meaning, some sort of fulfillment. And now she's sticking around. Like, this is a great twist in the backstory. Does Noelle understand though? Who knows? And that's today's episode. This today's episode was this is a great, this is a phenomenal episode. I, I think of all the seasonal Emmys happening right now, this is definitely on I, I wouldn't say like the best of the best, but like this is definitely on on the higher end. Each episode has just been so different and fulfilling. Like today's episode, what happened? Well, we were gonna do the whole like a、uh, rogue mission, and you would think like that maybe the biggest payoff is gonna be just fighting these random thieves. No, it doesn't really matter. It was cool to see Noel pop off and you know have these cool animations and kill everybody. The the fight animation is superb, but the meat of the content is the discussion, the dialogue that happens as we realize the people that required、uh, requested help are actually fucking. They're evil. They wanted to kill us after we did their job so they can, you know, make the pie and eat it too. There was even such wholesome moments of Noelle talking with Charlotte, the daughter. And then after having such a wholesome moment, like one day you can, I can be like you too. Yeah. And then he gives her all the like positive, you know, tips and stuff like that. And then it's just like, all right, you drink this glass first. You poison this shit, huh? I love how he's so like in your face. He is. I'm not gonna say the same kind of character as like Hajime from Ari Furata or like Toka Mimori from、uh, uh, Fr uh, Failure Frame, but you know what I'm saying, right? These characters that's not some sort of idealistic white knight beta cuck, but like just does like basically faces evil with even greater evil sometimes. It, it, it's just it's just so fucking peak. The soundtrack that plays that whenever Noel's being all such a menace is also just. It just adds to the menacing aura. We gouge Charlotte's dad. We take all their life savings, and I thought that we're taking the life savings, and somehow we're gonna twist it in like a good way, so that Charlotte could, you know, have her tuition fees for being a secrets paid off. Nah, we just took the fucking money, bro. We just took the money, bro. We just fucking left. I wonder if we're gonna see Charlotte in the future. It'd be cool if we see her in the future, and she comes. I don't know. Like I'm here to avenge my father. Blah blah blah. Who knows how that's gonna be set up? But this is like again, just like the talking scenes, the yapping scenes. That the anime is literally about you know the clan's greatest talker. But like this shit is why this anime is so good. Cool world building with the regalias. The seven clans are recognized by the empire. Four three stars, two two stars, and one one star or something like that. And you get like a huge spaceship. And then a crazy plot twist with Arma, like. When they said like, did you kill the grandfather? I'm like, what? And she says yes, and I'm like, what? Did I miss something last episode? No, that was the fucking plot twist, man. And like, she has no fulfillment. She has no purpose. She just grinded for 21 fucking years, got to the top, and there's no payoff because she's a bit too crazy. And there's Noel now, and she uses Noel as like you know some sort of like destination, some sort of like meaning to life. So all these like quote unquote fan service scenes, it's not random. There's meaning behind it. I wonder if this cactus of a person will recognize that. But great episode, and we still have another.、Uh, I think in the openings and the、like、the trailers, there's like a red samurai looking guy, right? Who's gonna be another party member? So fantastic episode overall. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time. Take care.